know, it's been two decades since the international river dance uh, made Irish step dancing part of our popular culture. And now the producers are back with a new show. Joining us now is John McColgan, one of the producers of Riverdance, and now the producer of the new show Heartbeat of Home, and Emma Warren, one of the lead dancers in the new show. And you're both Irish. We should say happy St. Patrick's Day to both of you first and Thank foremost. You. Same, same to, you. to you. So this river dance is now taken off around the world. I mean, this has become a global phenomenon. Did you ever think that 20 years ago when you first no, started? No, no, we knew we had something special, uh, but we're now celebrating our 20th anniversary. I get show reports from Vienna this week. We're in Vienna. We're on a nine-month tour going all through Europe, Scandinavia, into Russia. And uh, then we're, we've got a company in Dublin for the summer. And this company, Heartbeat of Home, I've been touring uh, Dublin, China, Toronto, Chicago, Detroit, Boston. Emma, let me ask you, I was curious because you're from Dublin, so you would gr have grown up, I would suspect, with this kind of dancing. But John was telling us in the commercial break, there are 60 Irish dance schools in places like Russia. Yes. What's the attraction for people of Irish dancing? I mean, it's amazing. I grew up, obviously, my mom was an Irish dancer, and so I was brought into it in that sense. She brought me along to her classes. But I think river dance was just so infectious that it affected dancers of all sorts all over the world and they really wanted to learn Irish dancing because it was quite unusual. But now it's just the norm. I mean, a lot of people do Irish dance all over the world. Well, you both are Irish, I have to say. Right now we were just looking at live pictures of the St. Patrick's Day parade here in New York City. Americans think of it as a big party, time to drink green beer and get drunk and not crazy. <laughs> but it's very different in Dublin, right? It's a little different. It's not quite as wild. I mean, the, the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York is really about the Irish of the generations, last generation, generation before, and it's been taken over by everybody. The Irish don't own it anymore, so it's... it's uh, <laughs> the Irish own New York anyway, but uh, New York owns St. Patrick's Day Parade, and it, it's a little different than it is in Ireland. There's, what, 34.1 million people in the United States who are descended from someone who came yeah. from Ireland. That's true. Uh, Emma, very quickly, uh, yeah. what's the, most, the best part of this show for you, and how do you keep going for roughly two hours? How do you stay in shape? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think doing the show itself keeps us well in shape. It's a full-on workout for two hours. We're non-stop dancing. And if we're not dancing, we're quick changing in the background. But it's so much fun, and the audience, all the right. adrenaline keeps us going. It's amazing. I mean, you, I, mean I, I can't imagine. You have injuries and all kinds of stuff that you have to overcome as yeah. a dancer. I completely respect what you do for a living. <laughs> Emma and John, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thanks.